Y'all, I am watching Eight Legged Freaks. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, but it's about like these giant alien spiders. <laughs> and they come and like take over this town or whatever. But anyway, it's a really, it's like not really old, but like a one of those like, I guess 90s, early 2000s movies. I don't know, I like movies like that. <laughs> But you guys, like, I'm kind of a conspiracy theorist too, though, like in my head anyway. Or like I watch the videos, I won't call myself that. I don't wanna call myself that, but anyway. And it has me watching these movies a little bit different now. Like I'm like, are they trying to tell us something? Or like, are there some hidden signs in this movie? Like what? What's going on? Is this something we need to know? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kim. Um, today's video is gonna be a haul video. It was very impromptu, so <laughs> excuse the appearance, but um, it'll make sense that why I look like this in a moment. Um, I am at my boyfriend's house and I ended up going shopping for some like miscellaneous things and I didn't mean to but anyway I grabbed so many things and I was just like well you know what I should just do a haul video and let you guys see what all I got <laughs> so I am filming on my phone and I am trying my hardest to use like the natural light because I don't have a ring light here so I'm gonna try to go ahead and get through this. So without further ado, um, if you wanna see what all I got, just continue to watch. The first bag is from Meyer. <laughs> Remember, I did a couple a video before letting you guys know. Meyer is, you don't know, if you don't know, Meyer, like think Walmart is along the same line. But anywho, um, I went in there and grabbed a couple things that just I don't, I don't know why I do this. But anyway, I grabbed some vitamins, or supplements rather. Um, this one is for energy. It's called Her Own. And it says it's supposed to um, burn and energize. So yeah, supercharge your metabolism, increase energy, and help control cravings. Which you guys, like my food, like, my sweets cravings have been off the chain lately like i've been wanting brownies and cookies and ice cream i don't know what's going on with me so i was like oh it'll help control the cravings let's get to it so i had to grab these and then i grabbed <laughs> so they're also a supplement it says desire but essentially it's supposed to help in that just keep everything balanced and all that in your reproductive area so um i grabbed that next i grabbed some flosser items my boyfriend likes the brushes so i grabbed him some of those and then i like these but i that i like them to be thick like that i don't like the thin ones so i grabbed some stuff for our teeth gotta keep your teeth healthy this product here it's a it's a volume boosting spray um this is what i used this is why my hair looks like this i i haven't told you guys i started my locks with braids so some of my locks to me you can still see the um braid pattern in some of my locks and they look a little thin to me so sometimes i try to use like a volumizing shampoo or something to give me some boost in there because I still feel like the braided part is flat if that makes sense but anyway so I grabbed that grab this um it's by Suave and I just sprayed it on and braided my hair up um just in plait so I can do a braid out and hopefully the curls will hold um it smells really good it just smells like clean it doesn't it's not fruity or flowery or anything like that it just smells like nice like you just washed your hair so um i grabbed that and then the next couple things i got um 
I know people with locks, some people, they are just like, oh, you're not supposed to use certain products. And I think this is one of the, I guess, brands that you're not supposed to use. But I just feel like it's your hair. You do what works for your hair, you know? Like, if it works, it works. And I don't feel like there's any set rules. So I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> and I grabbed two items from Garnier Fr Fructis. Um, this one is a curl refresher. Um, it, I like it. I like the way it smells. Honestly, it just says it's reviving water. <laughs> so just a mist. Um, and this one is coconut water scented. And I don't know. I just like the way it smells. So I was like, okay, I can use that maybe whenever I want my hair to smell nice or you know want a different scent for my hair, or whatever. And then this one is a multitasking leave-in. Now I just hope this is not creamy um because i try not to use like cream products on my hair but again it's just something to spray on your hair maybe you're gonna be outside all day or something in the sun or you just want to use it i think this one smells really good too so that was really my main motivation for getting the two of these i just like the way they smell so <laughs> but they were buy one get one half off so i grabbed two <laughs> The other item I got is also for your hair. It is by Aussie. It is a mousse and leave-in conditioner. So I figure I'll use this the next time I wash my hair um, and do my braid out. Cause I've never tried using mousse on my hair, but I've seen girls with Lux do braid outs um, using mousse and their hair turns out really nice. And I think it helps the curls last longer or crinkles or whatever last longer so i just wanted to try it next time i wash my hair so um maybe i'll do i'll bring you guys along with me and um do a review on it and let you know what i think but yeah um i grabbed this as well and then um i grabbed a face wash from pacifica it is the glow baby hot uh brightening face wash it says it's an aha um, vitamin C and vanilla it's supposed to even exfoliate and cleanse like my skin has been going a little crazy lately so I know that this one is supposed to be kind of I guess a better for you as far as ingredients type of product so um, I don't know I feel like I just thought it was cute <laughs> and wanted to try it so yeah I picked it up yeah. this next item I actually got from Target um honestly i can't remember why i went into target in the first place but whatever um <laughs> i it's the um what is this black girl sunscreen um this one is the matte formula i said it was a gel um like product so i used it this morning and it felt nice going on um it did feel it took a second but it did feel light now my i mean my skin does get oily so i mean i am a little bit oily but not too bad it doesn't i don't feel like i have sunscreen on it at all like i just feel like i moisturized my face this morning so so far so good um hopefully we it doesn't do anything crazy like make my skin break out any further but you know I'll let you guys know how I what I think but yeah um black girl sunscreen oh and also I, I know that sunscreen like helps with like dark spots and stuff so that's another reason why I was like oh let's try it so um yeah anyway black girl sunscreen that was from Target so this was really the reason why I went into Meyer um because I came and only brought like clothes to wear to work the next day and then my boyfriend calls me and like I was already here he calls me and he's like yeah there's a dinner or somebody's birthday or something and he's like I think it's after work today and I was like well I didn't bring clothes or anything to like go out and be like mean people I only have like chill stuff and I forgot my makeup so I was gonna have to go into work tomorrow with no makeup on and I mean I kind of made peace with that but then he's like oh we're gonna go we might have to go to dinner I was like okay no <laughs> so I had to go I wasn't and he doesn't live close to me so it's not like I could just run home and grab my makeup and come no it would 
no that would be completely out of the way so I was like well I'll go and see what kind of cheap makeup I can get into that will work but I also needed a couple things so yeah <laughs> let me show you what else I got from Meyer. <laughs> I got um an elf beauty blender uh, well total face sponge um, I figure I can use this in place of a foundation brush um, and I can use it to also do my highlight under my eye and place certain powders so um, I grabbed that because I'm like I don't have anything up here so I needed something so I grabbed that I could also grab two brushes from elf this one is the total face powder like powder brush and then this one is for like blush so um these were like three dollars you know how elf gets down so i was like cool i'll grab a couple of those and then i grabbed this matte finish setting spray from wet and wild uh, wet and wild is usually very expensive this was like i think five dollars and I, I actually use this every day when i do my makeup to go to work and it really helps with controlling my oils like I feel like I'm a lot less oily when I use this so um Myers had it and I was like yep let me grab that <laughs> and then um I grabbed a Maybelline uh, fit me face powder this was I think like five dollars I don't know if it was on sale or not but Maybelline's prices are usually pretty reasonable and if I'm not mistaken they're fine off <laughs> but anyway if I'm not mistaken they're a pretty decent brand so um I figured it relatively inexpensive so I'll grab that I got this in the number 330 um toffee car car caramel caramel um so I think it'll work so I grabbed that and then I also grabbed a Maybelline fit me blush this I think was like four dollars and some change and I was like oh I'll I'll take that as well I got the color what is this wine so it'll be kind of purpley but I feel like it's light enough that it won't you know be overpowering or anything crazy it's I think it's good I think we'll be able to work with that and then I grabbed a like a um, highlighting powder this is in the color banana um, from LA LA girl I'm sorry <laughs> LA girl it's just a loose powder um, so I'll put, use this to set underneath my eyes um, for highlight and uh, yeah this was pretty cheap LA girl is usually again one of those five dollar maybe four dollar and under or and above type brands so yeah hopefully this works then this product I actually just needed um, I got my Milani concealer um, I use the number 160 I use this all the time like in place of a foundation I grab this it's easy to travel it's easy to store it matches perfectly use this in a setting powder or in a face powder and I'm good to go but yeah it's just my favorite so I needed to grab one of those <laughs> and then next I grabbed a lip pencil and a eyebrow pencil um, I feel like as long as it's brown you know well not as long as but usually brown lip liners you can do a pretty decent look with and get away with and always I always have lip gloss on me so yeah I figure I can use this in a lip gloss and uh, yeah this is from NYX and this color what color are you oh downtown beauty so yeah and then the eyebrow pencil is from LA Girl and I got the color Espresso. Hopefully it doesn't go on like red. I get nervous with colors like this. That's why I usually use my MAC, but I don't have it and I wasn't about to go to too many different places for an eyebrow pencil. So hopefully this works out. But yeah, this is my eyebrow pencil. And then I got two concealers from LA Girl. I got the color toffee and I got the color beautiful bronze this I figure I'll use this to contour with so when I do my you know 
all my stuff and then I'll use this and just blend it out real good and use this as my contour. And then this, um, I don't know, I just wanted to try it. I used to use this color, but I can't remember if it's light enough to go underneath my eyes or not. But um, I just grabbed one in Toffee and hopefully it'll come in handy. And then the last item I got from Meyer was this Maybelline stick foundation. Um, I figure if I end up using something that doesn't match, I can always use this to mix just a little bit. And plus, I just wanted to try it. I also got this in the shade 330 Toffee. So I just figure hopefully it'll be, you know, something else convenient that I can use. Just another cream foundation, easy to store and easy to travel with. But yeah, I like having foundation options and hopefully it works because sometimes it's, it's I have a hard time with that but anyway <laughs> yeah so it just says shine free and balanced foundations for combination skin so hopefully this will work with my oils so yeah I got a dress but I'm not gonna try this on I just don't feel like it y'all I'm so sorry <laughs> and it's really nothing crazy it's just a um basic black dress casual i looked up the place that we're supposed to be going to it's not super dressed it's just casual like business casual type you know you wear jeans and a button up or slacks and a button up or something you know so i feel like a black dress you can't go wrong and i got this it's rachel's though i went to marshall's and got this one um i paid 24.99 for it and um yeah it's just one of your basic black red dresses it's nothing special <laughs> so no need to try it on honestly and then um i grabbed shoes these are from BCBG Generation. I figure, you know, nude shoes with the clear at the top. They match with everything. Um, nude is very classic. It's timeless. One of those colors that just, I don't know, it's just a neutral color. So I figure I can wear this with a black dress and carry my tan purse that I always have. And yeah, cute but casual type of look. And uh, yeah, last thing I got was a body spray. This is, oh, I'm sorry, it says hair and body mist. It says it's from Element Edition and I got rose quartz. Try to make sure you guys can see. I honestly, I think it's just pretty. And it smells, it does smell a little fruity. I won't lie, it does smell a little fruity, but in a good way. That's the only way I know how to describe it. It doesn't really list anything on here. It's just one of those random things, you know, you pick up at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything that I got. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, I'm sorry I had to come on here looking like this, but girl, I just could not wait. And I was like, let me just go ahead and let you guys see what all I got. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I promise in the next one it'll be better lighting and I will not look like this, all right? <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.